Pull up the block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, I took the good with I'm the bad, yeah. yeah. I done took a ride in the hell, that one I done took a roll down, where they kill me. Well, let me hit it in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, are you ready? Welcome back to another episode of Live Podcast. You know how I do it. It's your host, Mr. Lawton. And before I get started, make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe and make sure y'all share this content. I want to thank all the viewers. I want to thank everybody that's rocking with me. And with that said, let's get into it. Today, I got another special guest. And like I do all the time, I bring you the hottest artists, the legendary artists, the icons, the up and coming, and everything in between. And today with me, I got none other but Star City, the finest Old Cliff Ray T in the motherfucking building, y'all. What's going on? Hey, hey, hey I appreciate yeah. you, bro. For oh, sure, oh for man, sure. you, know you know how we do it, shit. We we gotta represent for the D. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, yeah. so but for the ones who don't know, yeah, y'all finna get to know. <laughs> and I want him to reiterate what I just said. Please let them know who you are and where you from. Yo, you know it's Ray T straight from Oak Cliff. You know what I'm saying? Straight Star City and T represent. You know for the Triple D all day. Star motherfucking you know? City two one four. So let's take them back. Now we got people got to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? I want to know when it started for you. When this music journey started for you? Shit. Um. I mean, I started music. Uh, I would say maybe about middle school. You know what I'm saying? Middle school. I was in middle school. Uh, Actually, you know what I mean? SPM. You know what I'm saying? SPM. So uh just just knowing that <coughs> that Latino first kinda started it off for us, it kinda inspired me to be like, Well, hey, I could probably rap, you know what I mean? I mean, my favorite rapper is Tupac. So before, you know, SPM came around and all that, you know, I, I always been inspired with the music, you know what I mean? But uh SPM was kinda like the one that kinda made me be like, Hey, well, maybe we can do it too. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of uh, Merc or Merciless? Merc 100 Man or Merciless? He used to rap with a group called uh, Funky Aztecs. Uh, the name sounds familiar, bro. Right. But yeah, yeah I'll, I'll probably have to like. Well, he won. He was one of the first uh, Mexican rappers come from Cali. Okay. And okay. he was like, he was he was first one uh, Mexican rapper ever do a song with Tupac, all in Tupac yeah, yeah. video. But I brought him up because he also helped. Lunch, the crew of uh, SPM. Oh, okay, okay. Well, Baby okay. Bash and all that. He's in, yeah. He's but he's down here in Dallas. I, yeah. I mess with him a lot. Though. Well, you know, on on a cool, you know, I've I, so SPM as far as you know inspired me to be one uh, a rapper. You know what I mean? Because he was Latino. You know what I mean? But right. uh, you know, Kid Frost. You know what I mean? Kid I, Frost. Yeah. You know, I can't. You know, deny Kid, Kid, Kid Frost. Frost. And even even before then, I think a uh, uh, producer with NWA. One of them was like a. Mexican cat too, right, you know uh -huh. what I mean? And um, it was two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, they inspired me. But as far as like really, really, you know, wanting to rap, it was SPM because he was from Texas. You know okay. what I'm saying? And just kind of, you know, at that time, right. that's when I was like, okay, yeah, dope house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dope house yeah. was that at that time. You know. Uh, especially with Mysterious, Low yeah. G, yeah. you know. So, oh yeah, I was on dope. Yeah, I was on dope house. Yeah, you yeah. can't miss me on that, man. Like, yeah, that was that was an experience. So like, at that time, you know, what 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 was besides SPM, Tupac, like what was turning you on in your city? Who was you gravitating more in your city at that time? Man, um, to go back like Oak Cliff Assassin. Oh. You know, uh, R.I.P. Oak Cliff uh, Rally Boys. Rally Boys. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's that era. Pimpster. Pimpster. You yeah, Dickies and House Shows. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Right. And on the cool, uh, I really fuck with Pimpster because he, you know, he really shout out the Latinos a lot in yes, his he music. Did. Yes, you know he what I mean? Mm -hmm. In his music, and I, I, I think that was also a, a big part because he used to. Uh, Messing around with some dude named Big Head Greg uh -huh. from Rhythm Tracks. They used to own Rhythm Tracks back in the day right there in Oak Cliff, uh -huh. across from Country Burger. Oh, you know, okay, he had okay. That CD store right uh, there. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But, uh, but yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I fucks with Pimp City. Okay, so then when after junior high, high school, yeah. when did you actually really start like, taking it serious? How was you finding studio time? How was you finding beats? Like, what was that process like? So actually, uh, a lot of that with the music stuff actually uh, came through with uh, my boy Ruben T. 
So uh, he used to be a DJ with Worldwide Entertainment. Okay. So he used to do a lot of the, uh, you know, like tour, uh, the Seductive Love and all the mm -hmm. Latin hip hop when right. they used to come. So he used to do a lot of those shows and be DJ and, and things like that. Well, he actually had a studio at his crib. You know, what I mean, it was a it was a home studio. So after the after parties and things like that, we used to go over there to the spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We used to smoke, drink, sip, you know, do all, you know, whatever, and then just start freestyling. Okay. So that's where it kind of started for me. Yeah. I was just kind of like, okay, he used to be like, man, just jump on the mic and then do, you know. Yeah, just do, do it. You, yeah, right. you know what I mean? And, you know, I was out there thugging and, and, and you know, doing everything. He was like, man, you got a story to tell, you know, uh, Get in there and do some. So shit, I just jumped in there and started freestyling. Nah, you know, nah, and started I think, from how, there. Yeah, I think <laughs> a lot of us kind of started kind of something similar. You know what I'm saying? Like, but and at that time, you know, we didn't give a fuck. You didn't give a fuck. You fuck up or anything exactly. at that time, nigga. Like shit, man, I'm on the mic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then at that, and then at that time, bro, uh, shit, that's when like Swisher House and you know what I'm saying. Yes. Everybody was coming out with the mixtapes. You yeah. know, screwed up and everybody yeah. doing the freestyle. Mm -hmm. So you know, we was just. Yeah. You know, backdooring it with, I was getting them beats and jumping and doing the same thing, you know? Houston turned us up. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, we had our own movement. We had our shit going. And I, I, I can honestly say, though, at that time, Dallas did have kind of like a little shadow over it. If it wasn't for Flavor TV, I think it would have been hard for us to know, you know, some of the Dallas artists. But, yeah, F Houston gave us the light. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When they came out with the with Fat Pat and everybody, the gray tapes and all that, it was just like, okay, we, we all won now. You yeah, know? yeah. So after you started freestyling and stuff, like who was behind you to make sure that you had the tracks that you need, the connections you need, the features you need, and things like that to grow your brand? And what was the name of your, your group or was your group was it a label then when you started yeah yeah so uh at, at the beginning you know it was stars up e and t and we had originally started that up it was uh me and ruben t okay. dj you know what i'm saying um which later on he ended up becoming family i, I actually married his cousin okay, <laughs> you know? okay shit. Yeah, yeah. all right yeah. but um actually it was it was it was that so in the beginning bro i actually used to be a club promoter you know what I mean? So I used to play, uh, promote Club Cream, Club Hush, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, back in the gap. Right. Um, but at the same time, um, we were starting our label. So what we was doing was we was doing the clubs, getting people to come perform. We would perform at the same time, okay. but we would have our mixtapes already ready on deck. So we was already, right. you know what I mean, hand in hand. Yeah. Hand in hand at that point, you know what I mean? So uh, it started off there, bro. It was actually him, me and him. Um, just getting together and then, um, you know, getting the crew together, um, Little J, uh, my boy J Lex, um, you know, my homeboy Big E, um, you know, and we just started, you know, making music and um, doing mixtapes, um, you know what I mean, and chasing it. Um, but, uh, you know, within over time, everybody started kind of doing their own things and, you know what I mean, I, I just kind of continued on. But right. but in the beginning, yeah, it, it was it was that, that, that core group. So did y'all have management? What were like? Nah, man, we nah, were just... We doing were just, it yourself. Yeah, we were just doing it ourselves, yeah. learning as we as we went. You Big know time what I mean? shit, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just straight grinding it out, you know right. what I mean? Um, at the same time, since we was already doing the club stuff... Um, we was running into people and meeting mm, producers and okay. things like, like like we had met playing skills early on, you know, right. what I mean? back in them days. Shout out playing skills. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, shit like that, you know yeah. what I mean? Because we was doing the, we was promoting clubs, right. so these people was coming in through our doors. So at the same time, you know, we was networking and you know, you know, rubbing right. shoulders with whoever was you know doing their thing at the time. So how know? was the Latin market at this time? Like who was like in Dallas? Like who who was the people coming out to, you know, support the culture, you know? Um, well, you know, early on, like Money First E&T, okay. you know what I mean? Um, you know, Accomplice, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Uh, Boss Vegas, you know? Boss Vegas, shout out yeah, Boss Vegas. Yeah, 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 for sure, you know what I mean? Um, Word Life, you know, uh, uh -huh. people like that, man. Um, you uh, then you had like Latin Embassy, you Latin know what I mean? Embassy, yeah. Yeah, you Latin know, I can't, Embassy. you know, I can't forget about them. They dropped um, a lot of records too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. dropped a lot of records. Yeah, so early on, you know what I mean? Like, they they really had the city in the beginning, you know what I mean? Show, you know, kind of getting it lit, you know what I right. mean? And then at that time, that's when we was kind of. coming. And that's right. when y'all was coming. Yeah, that's when I started hearing y'all name and y'all was bubbling yeah. and stuff like that. So, 
What was y'all main goal for Star City? Like, what was y'all trying to take it? Was y'all trying to get a record deal? Was y'all, or even did y'all even get a deal? What was going on? So, um, nah, <laughs> at, at the beginning, bro, we were just uh, really just trying to stay independent and see what we can work work up ourselves. You right. know what I mean? Because you know we was doing a lot of research and then you know talking to different people. You know, some people that was like, man. You know, getting with the majors, you know, we ain't seeing the money, you know what I mean? And right. then you hear them from independent side, you know, like, you know, you're seeing the little flips of Slim Thugs, and you know what I mean? Yeah, and they like, ball it. Yeah, you're just like, well, how are you with the major? You ain't got no money, and these motherfuckers over here just balling out of control, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was just like, hey, well, maybe we need to try to stick to the independent route right, right. now, you know what I mean, until we figure it out, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So we kind of stuck to the independent, you know, side. Um, but, I, I, you know, I, I did have a couple offers on the table, um, but, I, you know, I, I didn't run with them, man, because, uh, you know, reading through that paperwork, you know, everybody out there, make sure you read that paperwork. Yeah, that paperwork's serious. Because I'm telling you, bro, uh, yeah, if you don't read through all of it, yeah, they're going to screw you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to be like, nigga, a snake bit me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, for real. No, nah, for, for real, for real. So, like, was y'all ever, did y'all ever go to, like, Southwest Wholesales? Did y'all ever go to, like, uh, what what was hot at that time? Um, South by Southwest and yeah, all that yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had went down to South by Southwest, you know what I mean? Uh, went out there, uh, um, you know, uh, Hugo, I don't know if you know Hugo from Austin, you know what I mean, down there. He, he's a Mexican cat, too. Uh, I think his is a screwed up cartel. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. screwed so, up cartel, yeah. yeah. You know, uh-huh. I went to a couple of his events out there, you know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and that was through my homeboy, DJ Hardbox. You know okay. what I mean? He's he from the city. He's a pretty hot DJ around the city, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, I went down there, you know what I mean, messing with, with, with them. But, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So... Now, from the music, you know, what was the turn? Like, what, what, what halted Star Cities to get into the next level? What was the the stumping blocks? So, kind of when I when I connected with George Lopez, okay. um, that's actually when I when I started like, okay, I, I need to start, you know, taking this a little bit more serious. You okay. know what I mean? Um, when I hooked up with with George Lopez, um, you know. Uh, you know, shout out to George Lopez, T Time Music. Yeah. You know what I mean, Big Tuck, everybody out there. You know what I mean, much love. GL. Yeah, you know, um, Trini. You know what I'm saying. Um, but uh, you know, he he taught me a lot of game. You know what I'm saying. Um, uh, so when 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 I when I got down with him and at the beginning, and he was helping me out with my music in the beginning. Um, that's that's kind of what made me want to step it up. You okay. know what I mean? Because I, I knew one. You know, shit. I'm, I'm dealing with the legend. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit. They they're the ones that brought that seven million dollar deal to the city. You know what I mean? Like how many people can you say? Yeah. You know, got a seven million dollar deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? At them times. Yeah, at that time, that was yeah. early two thousand. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. That was that's a big deal. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's that's a big accomplishment. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So for me to be able to to work with them, you know, uh, you know, I, I was grateful and and I soaked up. Whatever game I could from him, you know how, what I mean? How'd you get? How'd you run across George Lopez? Even though I know it's easy to find him, yeah. And, and Bruton Bazaar back there when he had the shop at the back, you know what I'm saying? About yeah. a speaker shop way in the back, yeah. Where they used to do hook up your speakers yep. at, you know what yep. I'm saying? Before now where he at now though. So how did you connect with him though? So with George, um, so I had seen um, some people like taking music up there to his shop, you know. So okay. I had went to, originally to go talk to him about putting my music there. Mm-hmm. Um, he heard my music and he was like, "Hey man, you got something, bro." You know what I mean? So from there, he just kind of, you know, we worked the relationship from there, and then just started working together from that point. And um, yeah, just kind of started from there, man. Okay. So at that time, and, and the run that y'all have, like, what was the body of work that y'all was putting out? Like, do you remember anything that was like, what's the word I'm looking for? That was like your baby. What was your prize project or something at that time? Well, fame actually, you know, when I when I when I did drop my solo fame, that was actually my baby because you know what I mean that that was just you know I you know that was just at a at a crazy time in my life, you know what I mean? There was there was a lot of crazy stuff going on, so um, just being able to kind of do that project and put that together, you know, working with right. Big Tuck, you know what I mean, and people like that, um, you know what I mean? That that was kind of like my project you right. know, my baby you know for that one you know what i mean but i mean we was dropping a lot of mixtapes you know what i mean we had like hood crack volume one you know what i mean um we had all kinds of different shit out there pumping you know what i mean but 
Yeah, that that fame is what what kind of was was my baby. You know what yeah, I mean? fame. Was yeah. What was your favorite song off the project? Um, you know, the Dope Boy Fresh. That's the one I got with Big Tuck. You know, I I really really fucked with that because it was different. Right. The beat was different. Yeah. You know what I mean? The way I was flowing, like nobody. Nobody styles like me. You know right. what I mean? Like their style is not like I don't sound like nobody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and that song to me was kind of like, hey, you know, we got something to say, but at the same time, we got our own style, own yeah. swag. You know what I mean? Like on you know, everything. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at that, I got Tuck to flip his style. Yes. Yes. You take him out mean? his element. <laughs> you know exactly. Yeah. You right. Know what I mean? Take him out that, his element. Yeah, because yeah. that's not a normal you right. know, track that you would kind of hear Tuck right. on. Mm-hmm. And he flipped it on that bitch too. You yeah. know what I mean? So shout yeah. out Tuck. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure, yeah, for Tuck, sure. But Tuck be keeping it real, man. I love me, man. Well, you remember DMX? Yeah. Yeah. Man, you don't sure. know nothing about no DMX, man. man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, on you know, and not not to, you know. But my boy that's tatted right here, you uh-huh. know what I mean? That's cat actually the kind of reason why that got, got shut down. What? Yeah. What you mean shut down? I mean, I remember when they shut it down, but what happened? Because my, my, my partner is the one that actually killed the cop. Oh. The DMX. DMX was wow. Yeah, yeah. Man, you remember, man, we had the whole parking lot right here. Mm-hmm. Then when you turn the right right there, you had that whole parking lot right there. And that motherfucker was packed. Pack with the line all the way down to oh, fucking to the lodge. You ain't lying. All the way down to the lodge. Whoa. You know what I mean? Just to try to get in there. Yeah, I man. Think, I think DMX was the first club in Dallas that had his own TV special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think going so. live. Yeah, yep. every weekend. DMX TV with me, Marty. Yep. Yes. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? We performed there. Yeah. Oh, uh, you were going to get recognition out of there. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you right now what them essays were balling. But this was back in the time when. Niggas didn't even know about fucking thirties and thirty twos and motherfucking SAs were pulling up on motherfucking thirty twos and shit and them Chevys and shit spinning them bitch. You were like, man, what the fuck going on? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out Bill Bex, man. Yeah, Goddamn, sure. they need to yeah. bring that shit back. Yeah, for real. And they need to bring something like that back. I feel like, man, what you what show? Your thoughts on the city now, the music, how it is, the 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 the, the club scene. Like, what's your perception on it now? Uh. So it's different now, right? And you know, I fucks with the new generation and everything, you know what I mean? They got their thing going and everything, but I just feel like the nightlife was a little bit better back in our in our times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you had the blues, the DMXs, you know what I mean? Ooh, sparks. Yeah, 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 shit like that, yeah. you know what I mean? Like that to Star me. Spark club, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? So uh to me, I, you know, I, I used to like the environment back then with the club, but, I, you know, I'm fucking with this. It's just now it's, like, real bougie. You know, everything's, yeah. like, real bougie now, and then you just got, to, you know what I mean? like Yeah. and But you don't even know what's jumping, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, it may be jumping, man, but not even that. It right. can be, this spot can be jumping for a little bit, then right. you come a couple months later, and it's not jumping no more. Nah, uh-uh. Like, everything just be switching, you yeah. know what I mean? And that, that's the only thing that just... Uh, you know, I don't like that it switches too much. You know, back then it's just like you know, like DMX. You go on these days, you know it's gonna be jumping right. regardless. Club yeah. Blue these days, yeah. you know, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. they this performing, he performing everything. Exactly. Yeah. So in your catalog, who have you all worked with from Dallas, and who you've been wanting to work with from Dallas that you ain't got a chance to work with? So from <coughs> Dallas, you know, I've worked with, of course, Big Tuck. Um, I just did a song with this upcoming artist called Big Tone. I don't know if you've uh, heard him yet, but I, I just did a track with him. Um, who else from uh, the city? Uh, Thomas. Uh, he he's actually he's done. I think he actually uh, he's doing Christian music now. You Man. know what I mean? But he used to do rap back in the right. day. So I did some music with him. Uh, Fat Bastard. Man, that song you and Fat B got. Yeah, well, that's a new one. I I done. I've I did two songs with Fat B back in the Gap too. Right. You know, uh-huh. before this one. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. new one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You fucking yeah, with that yeah. new one? Yeah, I'm fucking with that uh, shit. Yeah. I'm fucking with that long way shit. Yeah. Goddamn me. Shit, yeah. well, yeah. then you you ad libbing him and then jump right in. You know, hook y'all, you just jump right in, right? I said, Oh, I like the transition. <laughs> I was like, Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. We got the video, we're gonna shoot the video to that. Hopefully, uh, 
the beginning of September, maybe one of that first two week, that first week or the second week, we're we're probably gonna aim to shoot the music video to that. Okay, who did the beat? Uh, MT on the track. So shout my, out, nigga. Yeah, MT on the track. Homeboy from West Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Actually, he's he's done some beats for a couple people like uh, Don Chief and and and, and a couple other people from around the city. Too. Have you have you worked? Would you work with Chief? Have you? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Don Chief. yeah, yeah, yeah. You work with yeah, Chief? Yeah. So I got a song with Don Chief too. Um, you know what I mean? Um, that's in the vault. I might pull that one out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I haven't released it yet, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm probably gonna pull that one yeah, out. Yeah, go and pull it out. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go and pull that out, man. That city gonna love. They gonna jump on it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Cause yeah. people still support Chief. Well, one oh, thing yeah, I can sure. say, Chief, Chief, he put out quality music too. Yeah. You know, so like he's just one of them cats that he can go away for a year or two, three years, and then come back yeah. and you know, still got a, a fan base to support him. Yeah. He, cause he understands too. He understands business, bro, and he understands. You know what I mean? Like you said, he, he's gonna bring that quality music. You yeah. know what I mean? Every time. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, yeah. For, nah, sure. for real, shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta crawl before you walk, mm-hmm. bro. And I've still been trying to crawl since I'm uh, trying to uh, crawl before I walk since I've been little and still <laughs> trying to get there. But anyway, who have you worked with that you wanna work with in the city? That I haven't worked with? Yeah. And, and you want to work with? I mean, you got a track. You forgot Gun Amazing, don't you? You got no, nah, I ain't got but, a track. I mean, but you do a lot of work with him, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been on a lot of uh, videos with him, and mm-hmm. you know that that's the fam right there. So uh-huh. you know, anytime they they hit the line, you know, right. you know, I'm pulling up. You know right. what I mean? So yeah, I've done a lot of work with him on videos and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we we may have one in the bag coming soon, though. Okay. Just FYI, all right, you know what all I mean? Right, uh, all but right. no, I don't have one officially with him yet. Um, but yeah, that for sure with Gunner, you know what I mean? Because Gunner, you know, off off the top, bro, he's he's one of the best out the city. Yeah, rapping. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Come down to rapping, that that, that motherfucker can rap. It, it, I feel like he's been slept on for too damn man, long. Man, for too long. Even you know what back mean? then when he first came out. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nah, young nah. squeaky. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Little yeah. squeaky. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Square business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know for sure, saying? for sure. Yeah, but um, I would say out the city. Big X the plug, you know what I mean? I wouldn't mind do something with Big X, uh, Montana 700, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Montana been doing this thing. Zener, you know what I mean? Zener, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I'm fucking with them. Um, shit, who else? You know, I wouldn't mind doing something with Trap or Yellow Beezy, you know what I mean? Trap. Sure. Yeah, you trap. know what I mean? You know, trap, trap just trap. came home, you trap. know what I'm saying? Welcome home, G. Welcome you know home, I mean? Trap, sure. you know what I'm saying? I see you in yeah. the cut. <laughs> yeah, but for sure, those will be a couple of artists that I, I wouldn't mind working with, you know what I mean? And then um, as far as Latino side, you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't mind getting one in with my boy Brown, you know okay. what I mean? Um, he's he's up and coming. He's pretty hot right now, too. Um, you were telling me about uh, Brown. Yeah, I got, you know, he's going to actually uh, be in a movie as well, too. Um, but he got the song out with uh, D Baby and uh, Mexican OT right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So that boy Mexican OT hot. Yeah, for sure. So I wouldn't mind, you know, probably doing something with him. You know what I mean? Um, Mexican OT done made it all the way to Cal Beats. Yeah. Plat, platinum plat. Yeah, I God. might even dig in the bag, go back and probably get an accomplice to do, maybe do, you know, some, maybe me and him do some, you okay. know, maybe we're live. Okay. You know, shit like that. Yeah. yeah all sure. right. Yeah. All right. So have you, have you ever heard like, uh, you hear the Looney Mofo? Is yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 you know, for Looney, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know him personally, okay. but but he's from the hood. He's from the cliff yeah, too, the you know what I'm yeah, saying? But uh, yeah, I've, I've heard of his music. Um, You know, he fucked with my boy Jay Muggs in the beginning. You know, he, my boy Jay Muggs is actually... His shirt, you know what Man, I mean? Jay that he Mugg's made. Still doing shirts. Yeah, yeah shout yeah, out Jay Mug. Yeah, for sure. So you know what I mean. Uh, but he used to manage Looney, I think, back in the Gap too. He did. Um, but uh, but yeah, man, I, I know you know his music. You know he he, he was good, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like I like his style. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I've always liked his style. You know what I mean? So for sure, like, yeah, shout out to Looney. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? For yeah. sure. Nah, for sure, man. So like, let's talk about your cameos. Like, how many cameos do you got? Shit, bro. I don't know, man. I've been in a lot of people's music videos. You Mr. Well, I think we should change your name, Mr. Cameo Man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we probably could, bro. But, man, yeah, I've, I've been in a lot of people's... Uh, Music video. Bro. Yeah, you yeah. damn Like almost. shit, like Gun Amizies, uh, Tum Tums, um, High Rollers, um, uh, who else? Uh, this dude named Pooh, uh, and uh, 
they did a song with was it Cap G? Cap G. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I was in that. I was in that one. Yeah, man. I mean, shit. I, I've been in. I've been in quite a few, bro. Man, that's what's <laughs> up, man. You know what I'm saying? We got. We know. Say we got. We got to stay connected. You know what I'm saying? We got to do it some type of way, man. So what's up? Can we talk about the comedian uh, uh, Jerry Garcia? How yeah. you link up with him and everything like that? Yeah, 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 for sure. So um, I actually I had went to go see him um, live at the comedy. Uh, what is that? The Improv. Mm-hmm. Um, it was uh, in Ralph Barbosa, right? Okay. So that was before Ralph. That was when Ralph was on his way up. So Ralph actually opened up for Jerry Garcia. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? So um, we went to go see that. Um, you know, I like, I like, you know, his style, you know what I mean? I have been following Jerry for a while already, you okay. know what I mean? But that was my first time actually watching him live uh-huh. and just, just watching him. I was like, Hey, you know, I think I can, I can use him in my movie. Yeah. So after the show was over, I hollered at him, you know, I let him know what I was doing. And he said, yeah, man, let's, you know, he gave me his number, his info. He said, holla at me. Uh, I told him, right, I'll get with you when I'm ready to get the scenes ready and all that. I reached out to him. He was in town. He said, let's do it, bro. So, I mean, from there, you know what I mean? I was able to get him in the movie. So you got him in the movie, too. Yeah, he's in the movie. Yeah, he got sure. him in the movie. You know what I'm saying? That's like with love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what, let's say, you, that's hard to do right there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. That's like, that's real, recognized real right there. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 for, for real. Sure. And like, did he got, did you, so his part's in the movie. I know you don't want to give up anything. But do you have him being funny, or do you got him in a serious role? We're like, what's what's his, what's his role in this? So it's actually it's gonna be a mix of both. So okay. you're gonna see he he will be he's gonna have a serious note, but then you're gonna see the little okay. You know All what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, right. but yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see. But he's actually I, I, so he's playing he's playing the OG pops to one of the characters. Okay, you so know, he's the pops. Okay. He's the pops to one of the characters. So, okay. But yeah, he, he got a little... Yeah, you got to have that, that star moment, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Make somebody laugh. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, them boy, that boy funny. Like, how, like... Like, you you transition from doing this music to, like, say, okay, now I want to do a movie. So I've I've always been into movies since a kid, bro. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I've always liked movies. Um I've always felt I lived in a movie, right? Because of my lifestyle. Right. Right. Growing up, you know, the stuff that I've been exposed to, stuff that I've done, you know, things like that. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to kind of paint the picture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Especially around around the city, because I feel like um when you go anywhere else, bro, like if you go to Cali. You know, you go to Florida, you know, wherever you go. When they think about Dallas, Texas, you know, automatically they think cows and horses and shit. Right. You know what I mean? Not knowing that hey, <laughs> it's not all like that. You know like what I mean? That, like, yeah. no, there's a whole different lifestyle out here, which, um, you know, I had to live through it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, some of this newer generation don't understand um, what, what that era was where... You couldn't walk down the street with the new J's on. Oh shit! He unless, took it to... uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, unless, nah, for un- real. Unless you was about your business. Nah, unless you was real. about your business, then you know they were gonna stay on your feet. If you wasn't, yeah, <laughs> they was yeah. gonna come off your feet. You ain't lying. You know I mean? J's and starter jackets. You and you couldn't even wear a certain starter you, jacket. You couldn't even wear a certain starter jacket. Yeah, anywhere. You, bet, you yep, could just, yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Talk about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, the era, see, see, people would be thinking like Dallas Week. They right. be thinking like they come down here, you know what I'm saying? Because I be, I be listening to them. They be coming down here like, oh, like, because I, I be watching this site. It's uh, something by uh, Dallas Scoreboard. Okay. And they be talking about like all the gangs in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? They were talking about, you know, uh, Channel 4 boys from Oak Cliff, mm-hmm. the Grove boys, AT, ATM and all them, yeah, right? Yeah. And they were talking about how this one guy coming from Den- Denver and came out here and he was messing with us, blending in, messing with all the gangs. And then he was like, oh, these Dallas niggas sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, they sweet. They just accept us. You know, people always say we always accept them and stuff. Mm-hmm. But see, they don't understand our hospitality. Like, we gonna always show love because that's how we was raised. Right. But as soon as you bite us, nigga, 
<laughs> oh nigga, you nigga, you you might as well, you might as well be exed out, nigga. Yeah. Cause it's it's a rap for you. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. It's a rap. So like I'm like, don't get us twisted down here in right. Dallas. Because that dude that came from Denver, Denver, he learned the hard way. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna just tell you that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. And that's 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 the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that uh, you know, during them time, you know, I take pride um and not not to glorify none of that. Mm. Right? No, right, not, right. Not to glorify none of the street stuff. You know, kids stay in school, you know, go to college, you know, Thanks. get an education. But uh, I take pride in it because a lot of us didn't make it out. Right. Right? And at that time, I feel was the time that you really had to show if you was real or not. Right. Like nowadays, you know, it's about the internet. You know, everybody's all behind the internet. Just, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, you know, everybody's just in this facade type thing. But back in the gap, like you didn't have a name unless you had a name. Facts. You know, and it, it was because you either got down and, you know, you used these or you was doing what you was doing. But it was, it was none sweet back then. Like right. you, you couldn't just walk around just, freely uh-huh. and just whatever and you know just thinking like everything was all sweet mm-hmm. especially like we, like seeing this younger generation with like the drill sh- shit like, mm-hmm. like how they doing all this like back in the gap bro that wasn't you know what I mean like you mm, yeah yeah real yeah. quick real quick that yeah, real quick real quick real quick, real quick. like shit yeah. nigga shit <laughs> real quick real you quick. know what I mean but you know um, you know I get it you know what I mean times change you know Things change, but yeah, you know, that's something that I really take pride in, man. You know what I mean? That surviving that, you know, yeah. and that was something that I wanted to paint, right? And it wasn't to glorify, but it was more so to show what we had to go through coming up, and you got a choice. Mm-hmm. Because that's what the movie's about. The movie's gonna be showing about what what's out there in the streets. And it's up to you on what you want to do at the end, mm-hmm. right? If that's what you're going to want to do, these are your only two outcomes. Yep. If not, prison or then, six feet. you know, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's all it's going to be. It's going to mm-hmm. be prison or you're going to be dead. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If not, sky's the limit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And I, I think, and that's what people... Uh, get it misconstrued that it's like when people telling their story, it's not that they glorifying it. They they showing you like the man that they became from the situation. And a lot of people take it wrong when they listen to the story. They just take it like, oh man, he did this right. and he did that, and it's like, oh man, I I want it. Nah, it's like. You know why they're getting it misconstrued is because it used to be the people that are rapping about it are telling their story, and it turned into people who wanted to glorify it or they want to make a name from that they didn't live that story so now they're telling it like it's 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 make-believe you know it's and sometimes it's okay to you know you can channel energy through your music you can see you can talk about what you've seen somebody else has done but it's the way it's done i think a lot of that got twisted and so now you see they they glorifying it and people want to go do it and Mm. they don't even have to yeah, exactly. you, don't, you don't have to. Exactly. Cause exactly. these boys, I heard, I'm, I'm talking about they getting switches and everything. They just out there, just I was talking about out there bad. It's like the yeah, it's like the internet is a straight pra- playground for them. You See, know? and 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 the thing with that, you know, that that I don't really like about it is that they're killing a lot of innocent people. Right. That don't because, like you said, they got these switches and shit on uh-huh. there. You know what I mean? Um, and you know. People, if you know, you know, if you dealt with those before, yeah. uh, you know, it, it's not that easy to aim with those. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it just. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, Shit. you know, and they're killing a lot of innocent people. You know, back in our times, um, you know, they, they was doing the same things, but it was more targeted. Right. Right. Like uh-huh. they were getting their people. They right. weren't hidden innocent people. Right. You know, trying to get their one person. You know what I mean. They're, nowadays, they're trying to get one person, and they hitting four four other people yeah. who have nothing to do with it. Yeah, nothing to do with it. Yeah, if you was there. You getting got to. You know what I'm saying. So everybody look like nigga. I can't hang with you. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, you gonna get me fucked off, man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's that's the thing. You know that uh, 
with the movie that inspired me to want to do the movie is just wanting to paint that picture, man. And that's it, you know, it's not just that, but you know, there's other type of movies that I'm 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 still gonna be working on. But that's kind of what inspired me to want to do movies because I just wanted to paint that picture. Right. You know what I mean? So working with George Lopez, all these other influences, you know, Garcia and things like that. How how do these collaborations? How did they like shape your career? Shit. Um, well, one, I learned a lot of business from from them all. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? As far as business things, you know, I, I picked their brains. You know, learn off of them. Um, two, um, kind of how to conduct myself and how to conduct myself, you know, in business as well, too, understanding, um, the language that you got to speak with, with certain people. Everybody right. can't talk to the same, right. right? My homeboy off the street, I can't talk the way I talk to him. I can't talk to an exec that same way. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? You got to like, put on your, you got your car clean. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, um, just learning that. You know, mm-hmm. learning things like that. You know, what I mean, I think that kind of helped me um, uh, elevate myself on what I'm doing. You right. Know what I mean, right. Because I just, I like a lot of people don't understand. I have a lot of studio clients or people who I just help out over in Dallas a lot, and they don't understand how to turn the street off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like yeah, you're doing street things when you're in the studio and all that. But you finna get ready to go meet him. You finna ready to go over here. You finna you need to do this. You need to do that. And you gotta know that they uh to do this. You know what I'm saying? Right. And some of them don't know how to transition, and that's a good thing. I'm glad you said that's a th- that's something that these collaboration did to shape your career. It it shows you how to chameleon, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And play the role, you know. Exactly. And I think a lot of us as men, especially in Dallas, need to understand that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause I think that's what hinder us. A lot from being that staple like H Town was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you gotta when you you conducting business, you gotta handle yourself in that manner. Right. You know what I mean. You can't you can't handle your street business with corporate business. Right. The two is not gonna it's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work because you're gonna but, scare you're gonna yeah. scare them white folks. But you know what? But when they get gangsta, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. when it get gay, when nigga, when I don't already put on that car clint, you know what I'm saying? And you still, you, yeah. oh, you don't hear me, nigga? Yeah. All right, man, all right, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, fuck, I'm about to turn it on, man. You already know. Nigga, yeah, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> you already know. No, for real. So, man, I, you was mentioning about being, you know, uh, stabbed four times and, and shot. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. What, what was. So. Yeah, I actually been shot four times and stabbed twice, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, that was, you know, part of my upbringing, you know what I mean? Right. And like I said, you know, I grew up in that era where, uh, you know, you had to be about that. Right. You know what I mean? I grew up in the gang banging era, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, you know, I was affiliated and, um, of course, um, you know, situations happened and, uh, you know, I had to go help a brother out. You know, and in the process, I ended up getting shot, you right. know, helping the brother out. You know what I mean? Uh, right. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I ended up getting shot four times. I was like, shit, I think I was about eighteen years old. Eighteen. Yeah. 18. What was running through your mind, like when that when that bullet hit you, and like, what what was the first thought in your mind? Well, on to be honest, so I was shot four times, but I only thought I was shot once because I didn't feel the other ones. Ooh. So I was shot in my back and it came out my neck. That's actually Ooh. an exit wound right here. You know what I mean? That I got right there. It right. Came, so it came in my back, right. back here, it came out my neck. That one was when the first one that hit me. Right. I felt that one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I felt that one. I right. felt that one yeah. because uh that one actually when when it came in my back, it cracked my shoulder blade. And then when it came out my neck, it cracked my collarbone. And Ooh. my whole like to this day, bro, like uh, this piece of my arm right here is all numb. Like, I don't have feeling in there. Like, I have nerve damage and all that from that. That's why you didn't feel the other one. You know what I mean? And then um, I don't have full rotation in his arm, as you see, Ooh, from, from that. Right. Like, I can't do this. You Damn, see that? that's throw. Yeah, this is as far as I can turn my, my that's arm. That's throw in the You bitch. know what I mean? But, they, yeah, from being shot, then I got shot in my leg, in both of my legs. Um, but when I got hit, um, I automatically knew I was hit. Right. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So when I got hit... Um, it was crazy because everything was just kind of like slow mo, mm. like everything, like everything just kind of turned quiet, 
And every because it, it was a big crowds and, and and just everything just started like everything just looked like everybody was just kind of running slow because when the shots first rang out, everybody just kind of stopped fighting because everybody's trying to locate who got the yeah, you know who right. where's the shots coming right. from. Well, as soon as that second shot hit, I felt it. Mm. So I was like, "Oh fuck, they're shooting at me!" Yeah, you know what I mean. And he um, he um, shit, he shot at me fifteen times and hit me four out of the fifteen. He so, didn't drop me though. Yeah, right, right. So you trying yeah. to get away still? Yeah. So, you so, made... so what happened? So when he he shot me, and once I I, I was able to kind of get my eyes on who you know where the gun was at, right. and I man, shit, he just had a straight straight like that at me, bro. Yeah. I already knew. So I just started kind of. You know what I mean? Right. Like doing my little zigzag yeah. and shit. And that actually what saved me, bro. Because if not, he probably would have killed me that day. Nah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. You can say you one of God's favorites. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. This this bullet right here was a, a, a centimeter away from my artery. Yeah. And this one this one was an inch away from the artery. Right. Man. So how did you make it to the hospital? Did you did shit? So we ended up yeah we was able to get back in the truck because everybody scattered after okay, that you know what right. I mean? like everybody like all you heard was everybody yeah. jumping in cars ah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah you know get the fuck so, out. <laughs> so we you know what I mean because uh, so you know we we got back in the truck and my boy um, actually Ruben T mm -hmm. um, he actually he was able to. Uh, Give me well, he didn't get me to the hospital. He got me to the fire station. You oh, he dropped your ass off, did he? Yeah, he, he, <laughs> well, but but it's because uh, well, we didn't know they had shot the truck up too. Uh, so the, the uh, because it started smoking and yeah. everything, you know what I mean. So yeah. but he was able to get me right there, and then the ambulance was able to take me to the yeah, rest yeah. Of the but you know something, you know some of us niggas, we ain't trying to pull up. Oh no, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that was the thing. I had yeah. told him just to you know when we get there, drop, drop me off. off. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go. Yeah, shit, yeah, they're yeah. right. Shit, but it's just because the vehicle wasn't gonna make it. You know I mean? Damn, that's crazy, man. Man, man, can you share some more thoughts about, you know, the uh the the coming up during the game banger area in the nineties and in the two thousand? Like what what cause Dallas, people don't understand like how that in music shaped us, cause that's all we really had. We didn't have much. So the thing with me is and what a lot of people don't understand, so a lot of people think when colors came out is when the gangs came here. Right. And that's not true. That's not true. Gangs were already here. Mm -hmm. We was we was already on the gang banging right. shit before the Crips. It's just the Crips and the Crips and Bloods got stronger and got influenced over here when that colors came out, but we already had gangs prior to the Crips and Bloods. Midnight here. Queens. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, Maple. Maple used to stay on what was that Geraldo show or whatever mm -hmm. when they used to do the gang specials. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, yeah. And then, see, so where I'm from, you know, I'm from the hillside in Oak Cliff, okay. from the hillside. So, my where I'm from, I'm so I'm. Please I, elaborate for the ones that don't know where the hillside is. <laughs> so the hillside is the Crocker Hill area in Oak Cliff, um, and over there was uh, mainly ran. Um, by Midnight Dreamers, 14. Midnight. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's who I came up on. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's 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 the neighborhood I came over. And then, of course, we have Vagos, uh, Junior Homeboys, Los Junior Homeboys. Homeboys. You know what I mean? Like you had uh, West Morning Crips. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You, you, had, know, you remember y'all used to have the duct tip the, yeah, the, all yeah, the way yeah, across York, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you, had, then you had the East Side Locals, and mm -hmm. you had Los Altos in West Dallas. You know what I mean? There was already a lot of different gangs already going. Lynch Mob, you yeah. know what I mean? You already had all these different gangs out here. Uh, but even before those gangs, there was like the AV Boys. Uh -huh. You know, I don't know if you ever heard of And then U-Men and things like that. And that was like, shit, maybe early 80s. Mm. You know what I mean? Like late 70s, early 80s. You know what I mean? That's the AV boys and all that. Like that's their area. You know what I mean? Okay. So that was, there was already gangs before. Right. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, growing up during that time, bro, like uh, you, you couldn't, you couldn't false claim where, where you was from. Mm -hmm. bro. And then depending on where you lived, um, you couldn't walk. To certain neighborhoods oh. at all back then. No. Now you can. It's yeah. different, right? Yeah. But back back in the gap, you couldn't. Even Blanco shit. Y'all motherfuckers niggas had to bring you. 
had to bring you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just couldn't just come out here and think you just finna get what you finna get. You had to be brought. Exactly. That too. You already know. Yeah. yeah you, you had to be brought. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they be forgetting. <laughs> they be forgetting, man. Like, I don't know. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know if people remember too back in the gap, but there's used to be this event called Art of Square. Mm. And that was like the Royal Rumble for like the Latin gangs that used to go. So it used to happen like every Wednesday. Okay. And all the gangs from all the different West Dallas, from right. East Dallas, from mm-hmm. Oak Cliff, from North Dallas, because you know you had Barrio Northside yeah. and all them, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then you had Pleasant Grove Vatos and Vario, and you know what I'm saying? You had yeah. all the. They'll show up and bro, it used to be mm-hmm. raw. You know what I mean? Damn. It used to be a royal rumble up in that man, motherfucker. Man, that yeah. shit crazy, man. Yeah. Man, say so it used to be, uh, it used to be wild back in the day, man. Especially when you were going to juvie, in and yep. out of juvie. Yep. You know, Lone everybody, yep. yeah, Long Star. Everything was tagged. As soon as you come in from the front, you, you come in the front right there. That's your cell straight ahead in front of you, right there. You all know said, I want to get up in there. That air, you tat it up until you get all the way upstairs. Yeah, yeah, you already know. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah, because I had when shit. Yeah, I had my first charge at thirteen. You know what right. I'm saying? So. But yeah, I rem- yeah, Lone Star, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lone Star. I hated that, man. Gladiator school. You know what I'm saying, man? You got to come up in that motherfucker, sit in your drawers, goddamn me, in your cell, you in your drawers, all, oh, man, fuck that shit. Yeah, they always, I remember they would be like, man, you, you want to go to Honors Dorm? And sh- I never yeah. made it to the Honors nah, Dorm. Nah, I nigga, fight never. too much. They always nah, put me nah. in fucking C1, C2. Yeah, you're going to stay there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to stay there. I know when I was there... Mr. Johnson was there. He was the track. He, he used to run track. Ball headed? No, nah, that was Big Homie. About? That's Big Homie. Oh, okay. Yeah, big yeah, Homie, yeah, the one yeah. who taught me that nigga, it may cost you a little, it may cost you a lot, but yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, cost yeah, you. Yeah, 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 that Big Homie. And uh, Dennis Rodman's sister was there too what? at the time. Yeah, she used to do the girls. Okay. okay she was okay, she okay. was over the girls and stuff. And back in the day, I was locked up with this SA girl named Pocahontas. She was a killer. But she was, I think she was from West Dallas. Okay. But her name was Pocahontas, man. She was say like, she was a cutthroat killer. I'm talking about straight killer, man. Yeah. I was like, yeah, boy, that was back in the day, though. But I'm, let me get off of that, man. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let me see what my next line of question is. Okay, what you asked me this? I ain't want to ask that question, but okay, fuck it, we can ask this question. All right, fuck it. So, have you seen the interview with Yellow Beezy and uh, talking about Boosie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We, yeah. So what is your take on, like, a person being, like, say, for instance, yeah, we're from Dallas, and then we tell somebody in Louisiana, hey, it, it, hey, it's up. You know what I'm saying? You fucking with my partner over here, woo-woo, nigga, when I see you, woo-woo, or whatever, fuck, 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 uh, fuck Louisiana, nigga. I'm going to Louisiana, it's up. You know what I'm saying? How, how, how would you think them boys would take that from a nigga coming from Dallas? And we, then we end up going to Louisiana. I mean, I would hope that they probably would react the same way. The same way, huh? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, I fuck with both, right? I, right. I fuck with Yellow Beezy. I like his music. You know, uh, he from the cliff, you know what I'm saying, representing the hood and shit like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I know there's speculations about where he really from, and I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. You know what right. I mean? Uh, all bullshit aside, you know, homeboy brought light to the city. You know what I'm saying? And and, and he's, he's really put on for the city. You know what right. I mean? I, I really hate... What happened between him and Mo Three and and you know and all that you know because I, I really thought if they could have worked that out that would have been a strong trio you yeah. know what I mean but because they had the New Dallas yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but that they originally was the New Dallas that's what right? I'm saying yeah you know what I mean they that's was, what I'm hey, I'm glad you said that but keep going on yeah but, yeah but, but, <laughs> but, uh, but you know to to Beezy's point on that interview you know. Um, you know, I can't disagree with what what he said because, you know, when when gangster shit going on, right? Like you said, right? Like if we was to say some shit like that right. about Louisiana, you know, and we could show up to Louisiana and go and hit their swap meet or whatever, I I would expect that uh, there's probably gonna be somebody waiting for us outside to do something. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um. You you can't you can't come to another city. Especially Boosie, no, you know, Boosie had a crib out here in in uh, that, and, and speaking of that, 
I actually opened, we was one of the first ones to open up for Boosie when he first got out of prison. Okay. At Club Icon. Okay. You know, we was the first Latinos to open up for Boosie when he first came out of prison. So, shout you know, out. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just Put that out there. Yeah, yeah. Throw that out yeah. there. But uh, aside from that, um, you know, Boosie knows Dallas, you know what I mean, ain't sweet like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I get it, you know, um, but you, you can't, you can't say things like that and not expect repercussions. Repercussions. Right. You know what I mean? Like, Not fair. So I wasn't surprised that it happened. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, and Boosie knows that. Right. Boosie knows it. Right, because right? he uh, speaks on it. Yeah. He knows it. And yeah. I'm sure he he knows probably the reason why that happened, whatever happened, happened. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know, you understand. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? All you got to know is... Okay, you take your lick and get your lick back. Or if you don't get your lick, then understand it. You, know, you just take your lick. Nah, fair. You know what I mean? Right. And BZ just, and then right after the interview, he just dropped a new video. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he just dropped <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he got the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he, he did that though. You know what I'm uh, saying? So, I mean, what, what's your thoughts on the new song? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's cool, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, he got Wayne on it. You know what I mean? He got Wayne yeah, on that yeah, motherfucker. So, you know, Wayne, that, boy, say Wayne, boy. Woo. Wayne ate that bitch alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, nah, that mean, but no, nah, it's a good look. I, I'm fucking with the track. You know right. what I'm saying? Uh, I think it was good. Uh, that was a good feature to go with. You know what I mean? For sure. Right. Uh, but yeah, you know, timing, you know. Yeah, you know. timing, yeah. <laughs> timing, perfect in the motherfucker. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Perfect in the motherfucker, though, yeah, man. Yeah. Marketing. You know Marketing. what I'm saying? One on one, one goddamn on it. One, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it is fine. And so, man, so how you so how important you think it is for artists to, you know, um establish their brand, you know what I'm saying? Especially out here in the community. Uh nah, man, I think it's real important, you know what I mean? Um I, I think uh you know, trying to work with your community, you know what I mean, trying to give back, um, you know, I think that's real important, you know what I mean, and it kind of helps out just so people understand that, um, you know, you're trying to help out, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, uh, I know like this uh, past Christmas, you know, I, I had uh, hooked up with George, you know, for the uh, Christmas drive to give out free bikes for Christmas, you know what I mean, yeah. so... You know, we did that, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm trying to get into more of uh, trying to help out with the youth. Right. You know what I mean? Trying to uh, do that. Because I know, like, you know, when I was in juvenile, in and out of juvenile, you know what I mean, county, um, early on, like, uh, I wish I probably would have had somebody who, who was from my neighborhood um, who looks like me and gone through the same things and kind of be able to see, like, hey, they, they've accomplished some things. Right. Just because... You know, you gone through this or you're going through this doesn't mean that you can't do something with yourself once you get back on track. You right. know what I mean? Um, I, I think that would have probably helped inspire me a little bit earlier on and maybe help me kind of uh, get a little focus more on business shit that I wanted to do early on versus kind of getting caught up with the streets. You know no, what I mean? Facts. Because, man, that story got to be told. Yeah. That legacy got to be told. And it's a lot of y'all out here that has a story that needs to be told because that's something I really don't see in Dallas, you know. And and, and one thing I also know about the, uh, you know, our community as far as the blacks and the Latin community in Dallas, you know, they, it's 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 not too much at the forefront as as it should be. And um, what I'm finna say, like, because when people come to Dallas, people know, okay, you know, Pookie, Lucci, Rally Boys, Immortal Soldiers, Twisted Black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or they're gonna say Renaissance or some shit right. like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like, you know, on our side, we we got vanilla ices, uh, Erica Badu's, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. We got DOCs, yep. we, we got Nemesis, you know what yep. I'm saying? With the Pookies, you know yep. what I'm saying? The Oak Cliff Assassins, you know what Most I'm saying? Yep. And the Mo 3s, and you know, and then the B Hamps, and then the the Rose, and then yep. the, you know, Latin embassies, you know what I'm saying, Star Cities, you know, yep. you got and not, not and I ain't talking about the Lucci Star City, but you know, yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? But the you know, we 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 have all that, you know what I'm saying? We we have a um, you know, um playing skills and yep. da 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 you know what I'm saying, the George Lopez's and all this. So it's like, and I can't forget, you know, boss man Vega, he gonna be like, ah, boy, woo, 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 woo. you know what I'm saying? But 
it's like now it's time for us to really put that platform in they in their face. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen you know M Street down there doing yeah. their thing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out M Street. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Like I, they they keeping alive. George Lopez definitely with his podcast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. And I just think you just need to be honed in a little bit more. Especially I think like I was saying about the community. I think we also the brand we need to tighten it up, sew it together. Yeah. Cause that's what that's what that's what Atlanta got. That's what made them great. That's what Houston had, and that's what made them great. I, I think once we sow it, we 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 got the game on lock. Cause everybody comes from us, come here to get anything, everything from us, and 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 including I'm glad, money. I'm glad you brought that up. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people really don't understand that, right? And they don't understand how powerful Dallas really is, right? Because you 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 made a good point, right? Atlanta. Right, they all sewn in together, started making it work. Houston, they all got sewn in together, started making it work. The problem with Dallas that I feel is that we have too many bosses mm. in Dallas, right? Mm. Too many people getting money, right? Mm. In other places, right, they have a lot of people getting money, but they have somebody kind of controlling things, a right? commission. Right, right. So, like, you go to Houston, right? Who, 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 who's, who's the ones, right? Mm -hmm. Jay Prince, right? Mm -hmm. People like you know, you got certain people who can be like, "Hey, y'all need to stop all that nonsense. Let's get this money. Mm -hmm. We're gonna work together." We, you know what I mean? Atlanta, right? I'm sure they got like the QCs and different people who are kind of higher in power to be able to be like, "Hey, let's stop all this nonsense. Let's try to get this money." Right. Things like that. We don't have anybody in Dallas doing it like that. Because if you notice, and even in the jails and things like that, if you notice, right, it's because Dallas has always kind of been like their own thing. Right. right? Even when it came to blasting. Just everything. Just yeah, anything. Right, you know yeah. what I mean? But nah, I'm just for saying, real. Yeah, but it's just like. For real. That Dallas, but it's because if you notice, like our people uh -huh. from the streets, we're just bred different, right? Like we're really go-getters out here. Right. Like, we're really bosses. Like, right. That's why, like, you can't say nobody runs. Like, you know how people say, oh, and I had to, you know, like Rainwater, right? He, mm. Oh, I'm running Dallas. You know what right. I mean? No, you don't. No, nah, not at all. Nobody runs Dallas. Mm -hmm. Nobody can ever run Dallas because <laughs> of how we are here. Yep. You know what I mean? And I think that's what kind of hurts us because we do have so many bosses out here that People are kind of like, well, I can just do it myself. And they do. Right. Right? Like, right. Kind of like this, this like your Zionair Doe's and Montana 700s, right? Mm -hmm. They're their own bosses. They made their own lanes, mm -hmm. doing their own thing, yeah. right? I, I started doing my own thing, built my own lane, right? Other people building their own lanes, doing their own lanes. I do agree that if we were to get together, we would be way stronger, right? Yeah. And then, like you said, all these out-of-towners come from, no, 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 Hold up. Yep, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Well, y'all coming up. over here and taking, taking from us, but what y'all giving to us? Right. What are y'all doing for our people out right. here? You know what I mean? And start politicking that way, okay? Hey, nah, it's cool. Y'all come over here. Everything is all good. Mm -hmm. Hey, but let's work. Let's do right. something. Like, y'all coming and taking money from our city and things like that. We're going to show y'all love. Mm -hmm. Show us some love, too. Nah, right? for real. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Because they can come here and get a bag any day, any night. Any day, any night. They can get played every day, all night, all day, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you really sit back and kind of look, look at how many artists come here to get bags, right? Mm -hmm. They're always coming here to do shows all the time, all the time, because they know. And if you really think about it, we have that many consumers. That in just Dallas alone, bro, alone. alone. When we was doing our marketing, when we was on Sony, when we was signed to Sony, we was doing our marketing. We was doing for get ready to do our radio campaign. Mm -hmm. So we were seeing the other side of uh, how the radio campaign shit actually worked to get your shit worldwide and shit. And she told us, what she say? Do not, do not. She say you from Dallas? Do not market in your city. <laughs> but she also said. <laughs> Because there's so much 
talent. There's so many artists. And like you said, everybody's our own boss. Everybody's independent, right? It's not a consumer base, but the rest of Texas is. And right. she told us then, she said, oh, you don't even need to do your campaign anywhere else. She said, you can go plant them in Texas by yourself. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that, you know, um, you can go plant them in cap. That's why, like, a lot of the artists, some of the artists, like, you may not know, right? Like, you'd be like, you know, somebody may mention, oh, you know, so and so. I don't know who the fuck is that. Yeah. And you go look and you're like, damn, these yeah, got a pop. million some of you. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's because, in just like, like, Cali, right? Texas, the same way. You can go platinum in Texas alone. Like, you don't even have to. But the thing is, like she said, if you're from Dallas, don't market your music down here in Dallas. Because it's not. Because, you, you know, everybody's like, no, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you at home, nobody cares. Yeah, 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 you at home, you don't nobody care about you, but that's the thing. That's the, but that's what we need to change because home is home base. You know what yep. I'm saying? You should be able to come home and relax. And you should be able to come home. I'm not saying nigga praise a nigga and right. die out of this. Right. But if I pull up to the club, if it's, if it's radio, you know what I'm saying? You need to be acknowledging, you know, the ones that came before, the legacies, all that, the, and it's not, and it's not there. Yeah. I will say the love comes after it's right you know, after you've blown up somewhere else. Right. I, and I think that just has something to do with us here in Dallas. We are proud people. So it's like when you go out there and you make a name for your city, we proud. Right. Yeah, then then we're like, oh, okay, homeboy right. did it. He right. did it. Nah, you nah, know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the radio should be playing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just saying he should be heavy rotation, but you should be doing uh, tributes to Oak Cliff Assassin. Yeah. And Mo yeah. Threes, you know what I'm saying? To all your Royal Lees. And, and that's, and, that's what I'm saying is like, our Dallas, like, we let all these other artists come, but we have our own stars here too. Yeah. But they're not giving them the same shine. Nah. You know what I mean? Man, what's your man? What's what's your take on Dallas legacy, man? The legacy of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? In what aspect? Like, where you think it's at, and where you think it's gonna go? Well, I would say, I would say right now. It seems like we do have a lot of more artists coming out of Dallas. Right. So I, I I would say in that aspect, it's 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 getting better. Right. For our city. Right. On that end of it. Mm-hmm. But I'm still seeing the divide. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm still seeing like people still kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but um, I would say um, musically, you know, the scene is looking a whole lot better as far as people, more Dallas people are starting to get more exposed out there. Yeah, it is. That's true. I'm saying, especially, you know, Lil Ronnie, he's, he's still bringing it home, writing for people, Cash Page, you know, it's just a whole list of everybody and shooting that way. And I think, I think it's Toro trying to make a comeback. Who? Huh? Toro uh, from uh, Rich Mind. Uh, that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That I, I don't know. I've been sure. seeing him. You know I've been seeing him in the cut. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, what the fuck going? I said, you coming back? You, you know, know what I'm saying? Mean? He be, he be, you know, dipping and dabbing. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. All right, so, all right, so tell us more about this movie and the name of this movie. Tell us a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So, so the movie's called Superstars, um, and it is a Dallas-based movie. So mm-hmm. it is going to be telling the story about the city of Dallas coming up. Um, it is more Latin based, um, but I am bringing and showing how the Latinos and blacks down here in Dallas work together. You know what I mean? Right. Um, because if you notice like other places like Cali and shit Uh like that, it's more segregated, right? Yeah. Um, but down here it's not like that. You know what I mean? And, and I've, I've noticed, you know, meeting people from Cali, you know, different people and stuff like that. You know, they trip out with our lingo and then kind of like how we kind of mess around. And right. they're like, oh, no, we don't do that over there. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, we on another level. Like, yeah, since we've we been having record labels, it's always been, you know what I'm saying, SA always there, you know what I'm saying, from, you know, Rizzo, you know what I'm saying, Toro, y'all, yeah. you know what I'm saying, everybody like, you know, Vinny, I, everybody yeah. always been there part of the label. So it's like, shit, that, that shit coming. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And shit. Yeah, so like to me, like I was like, I'm I'm accustomed to being around, you know, me and, with blacks. You know right. what I mean? Like me and blacks, we went to school together, we hustled together, made yeah, money yeah. together, ate at each other's cribs and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so shit. like, baby city, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everything, All yeah, you know what I mean? So that's, you know, I'm, you know, 
my element and where we we came up, you know, it wasn't really like that. Now there was a little bit of segregation, of course, right? Like you had where okay, this is the Mexican area, this mm-hmm. is the black area, but it wasn't because we were segregated because we didn't fuck with each other. Right. It was just that's just the way the landscape was yeah. and where people were living. But we all, you know, mess with each other. Hey, you know yeah. what I mean? We all was getting money and nah, for real. everything. You know what I mean? Shit, all the nigga all up and down, clearing and everything. everything shit, you know? damn me, yeah. little bitch coat, West Dallas shit, yeah. goddamn me. It was yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it was and then shit. Yeah, especially if you, man, nah, I ain't going to talk about that. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you know, you know, you bitch. Know, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, like, how you transition, man, from the street life, music, and then taking care of family, being a family man? Uh, shit, almost losing my life, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I had my kids early on. I already had kids at right. that age. You know what I mean? I, right. I, I was like 16 when I had my daughter. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, you started young. Yeah, I started real young. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then, uh, but shit, um, uh, you know, after being shot, man, and uh, not being able to feed my son because I couldn't carry him. Right. Right. Like, I couldn't walk. I couldn't carry him. Um, you know, not to say, you know, it took me a few years after that to kind of get my mind right. I was right. still kind of fucking up. But during those years, it kept kind of replaying in my head, like, damn, bro, you couldn't even feed your son. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and and for long, because, you know, it took me a good, like, maybe six months to really be able to start kind of walking right, and you know what I mean? And so, you know, and he's a baby, you know, and my baby mama at the time, you know, she's waking up in the middle of the night trying to feed him, and then my daughter, you know what I mean? My right. daughter was little, too, so I already had my daughter and my son, you know what I mean? So she's trying to take care of both of them, plus try to take care of me, right? because she had to help me, you know, use the restroom, right. shower, and all, you know what I mean? So... It made me feel less of a man, bro. You know what I mean? Like, nah, kind real. of like, you know, experiencing that and kind of seeing that kind of went like, damn, like, you know, it kind of made me think like, nah, I can't, I can't continue to be like this and, and leave my kids out here like that. Because nah. then I started thinking about like, damn, if I'm dead, like, who's going to help? Right. Take care of them. You know what I mean? So um, that that's kind of what helped me start transitioning um, and then when I started getting into the music and kind of starting seeing things, kind of working out here and there, it kind of inspired me to be like, yeah, I think I want to stay legit. And just kind of just go down this route, you know what I mean? Shit. So, I mean, shit, I even, I would be even, you know, do, I would have nine to fives in between, like off and on, right. you know what I mean? Everything just to, you know what I mean? Um, try to stay out, bro. You know no, what I mean? Facts. Because they don't want to go back to that can. Fuck that can. Yeah, for real. Yeah, fuck that shit. Fuck butt naked gurney, man. <laughs> fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. <laughs> for real, man. Nigga trying to make some moves. You know what I'm saying? You can't make moves. You can't do what you can uh, do. You can't take care of your family. You can't see your family yeah. down there. Goddamn fly, man. I'm finna kill that boy. <laughs> Goddamn, man. Out the shit, man. They don't open up that damn door and the fly that came in. So, man, who's, who's been in your corner? Who's been your biggest influence, man? Uh... Really, my boys, bro, um, finally starting to come home. You know what I mean? Um, they've been my influence, you mm-hmm. know, because while they was locked up, they would encourage me a lot to do right and to stick to it. Right. You know what I mean? So um, a lot of my homeboys that are locked up, you know what I mean? Um, my homeboys that passed away who got executed, you know, uh, RIP, you know what I mean, to Wesley Reese, you know what I mean? Um, he was taken by the state. You know, executed. Damn. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, um, my boy Licho Escamilla as well. He was executed. And those are both dreamers, midnight dreamers, you know what I mean? And they both got executed by the state. Um, the, you know, realizing that that shit right there hit close to home. Right. That's when I was like, man. You know what I mean? They, they help inspire me to, to be like, nah, bro, it, it's time to do something different. And 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 speak for our people. Facts. You know? Facts. Facts. Now I'm finna say some names. And then I want you to give me your first thought. Whatever come to mind. Boss Man Vega. I'll say uh shit. Pioneer to the Latinos, right? One of the pioneers, yeah. A shout out Boss Man, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Dino V. 
that's my boy right there. You know what I mean? Shit. Actually, me and Dino V, I've been knowing him since elementary, man. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. him, yeah we, we went through all, uh, you know, through schools together here in Oak Cliff. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you go to Sunset? Yeah, I went to Sunset. You went to Sunset? You remember when he had the ride? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't don't want to talk about that. You don't yeah. gotta really talk about that day, but that was a wild day right there. Are you talking about the with the Crips? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. That was a that was a wild day. Yeah. That yeah. was a wild day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was I was actually in, in one of the vehicles on the way over there until all the cops uh, yeah, the helicopter, yeah, everything yeah. you remember. Yeah. 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 That was <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's we're gonna say that for another one, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I gotta right. do my rapid fire. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Tri- uh Triple D Gear Toro. Uh cool, cool homeboy. You know, uh, you know, he uh, you know, gave me an opportunity to to be able to uh you know, model his his uh gear, you know what I'm saying? And, right. and, and do two uh I did two drops with him, you know what I'm saying? I had did the Mexican independence um I think back in 2023. And then we just did the the Royal Blue Drop, you know what I mean? Right. Like I did with that 4 a.m. in Dallas, yeah. That 4 a.m. go hard, too. Right, and, 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 and he's smart in the motherfucker. Because <laughs> nobody ever thought to copyright or trademark, my bad, the Dallas logo. Yeah. And he did that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, he yeah. did that. For and sure. made it a brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... It sucks of how much bullshit he's going through right yeah, now. Yeah, he's going through a lot. He yeah, got a lot because of, yeah. of it. But um, and then you know, then there's all these other ones. But if you really think about it, man, like yeah, he uh, he helped kickstart kickstart a culture brand branding our city. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's something that we can be like, yeah, yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? We was able to go down the deep element and get us, you know what I'm saying, a D hat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We were like, you couldn't, you couldn't really just too much do that like that unless yeah. you go get spray paint. Right. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, people forget about it. we had to go get our shit spray paint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. yep. Or go to go to Big T and get yep. that bullshit stitch. Yeah, <laughs> you know that yeah. shit? Got that string hanging out of the box. Exactly, bottom. exactly. Yep. All right, so Rich Mind Records. No, 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 no. I'm not not Rich Mind. I'm sorry. Um, Jay Cruz. Shit. Um, I would say also an, another pioneer in, in, in the radio, right, for Latinos as well, too. Right. Um, but overall, just just a cool person, bro. Like, he's he's really down to earth. Right. I really, I really fuck with Jay Cruz because um, not all radio personnel – are willing to be vocal with you mm-hmm. like how he is. You know what I'm saying? Like he he really will sit there and, and Yeah, and play your shit. Yeah, yeah. Talk to you, play your shit and play you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So love. for sure. Yeah. yeah, shout out Cruz, you know what I'm saying? He he took he took a radio station that was really nothing. Yeah. And made it something. I started bringing it back. Cause yeah. I remember when no, they didn't even have a DJ. They shit, they just let shit just spin that mm-hmm. night. That shit was just free. You know what I'm saying? And then they just came and really built 97.9. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the whole team over yeah, there. For sure. Nah, for sure, for sure, man. Like, so who you always wanted to work with in the industry? Overall? Yeah, who you want to collab with? I want to know who you want to collab with in the industry. <laughs> shit. Um uh... You know, I wouldn't mind doing something with Drake. What? Drizzy? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing something with Drake. Um, they not like us. Not yeah, much. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they, 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 that motherfucking Drizzy gonna be like, nah, man, I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't mind doing something with Drake. Uh, who else? Uh, shit, I wouldn't like um, the game, bro. Actually, you know, I, I fuck with the game still, like. Rapping wise, like they slept on that boy, man, bro. They I, I, what was it, Jesus Piece? Uh-huh. That that album? Yeah, yeah. Bro. Showed his ass. Yeah. Yeah, he showed his ass. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they be sleeping on something like when nigga get to that pinnacle and then it's just like you get to the beef and it's just like okay, I just go with him only and just sleep. You know, I, I, I think that's that that was his kind of demise, bro. It was just his beef shit. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean? a lot of the beef shit that was going on, and then his little lawsuits and all that and shit be- right. between. You know, what I mean, I right. think that's kind of what kind of hurt him. But but on the cool, bro, like lyrical lyrical wise and and just music, like yeah, that boy, yeah, yeah. he's on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he, he he's really on it. You know, mm-hmm. 
That boy hard. Shout out game. You yeah, know what shout out game for real. So, any like standout moments in your career, like that you're proud of, your achievements, your compliments, you like to share? Cause like you done been in cameos, videos, and damn near here at the meal. You done, mm -hmm. you know, you done been here. You know what? I mean, uh, accomplishments. I would say is once I get this movie done, bro. Okay. I, I feel like this this movie, like, cause making movie ain't easy. Right. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then making it look good. It's not easy. Right. You know what right. I mean? Because, you know, most people, when you tell people, oh, I'm making a movie, they uh -huh. automatically think, oh, it's going to be some bootleg shit. Yeah. You know, some, uh, you know what I mean? Um, right. Um, but then when you share, you know, you show, and then they're like, oh, this bitch it looks super icy, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that feeling, you mm -hmm. know, when, when, when people were probably like not thinking that it was going to look like that, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a good feeling, bro. So, uh, you know, being able to accomplish, being able to get this movie created, bro, uh, that's something that I, that I'm I'm proud of because um, I'm, I am bringing something to life, bro. Okay. You know I mean? Okay. Okay. All right. Um, but also, too, at one point, um, I did have a one project deal on the table with OVO. What? Yeah, and I actually I, I passed it up because, like I said. Read your fine print. But yeah, I had some off for a one project deal um, for that. It was a six figure deal too. Oh shit. Yeah. How much you gonna get out that six figures? <laughs> read. Right. Read your fine print. <laughs> you see the question I yeah. asked. You know what I'm saying? Read How your much fine, you gonna get out Yeah, that? read your fine print. Uh, yeah, after, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would have been in the red. Oh, shit. God, nope, nope. Sorry, OVO. You know what I'm saying? We can't do it like that. You know, Dallas, we ain't, we ain't into that here, man. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? But shout out to Oliver for reaching out. Nah, fair. You know what I mean? And um, The opportunity. Uh, the opportunity that was presented, um, I did counter. Right. Um, but they didn't like my counter. So, right. you know, we just, hey, you know, we, we, right, we yeah, went our yeah, ways. Went but, our uh, way. but, yeah, you know, that, that would have been... That was also, uh, I would say, another accomplishment because not everybody can say, hey, I, I had a, an offer from OVO, right? Like, Man. I don't have the paperwork to prove it. You know what I mean? So, nah, for real. Yeah, so, but, uh, but yeah, for sure, uh, that, that, but like I said, read the fine print. Well, since I can't get no rap out of you, since I ain't doing, we ain't doing no freestyle, <laughs> or nothing like that. I can't, I can't just die ah, on them real quick and shit like that. And I be trying to tell people too sometimes, I be like, say, man, I ain't gonna give y'all that jewel either. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was gonna tell y'all now, nah, uh-uh. But it, but since I can't, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you five and five. This is what we're gonna do. We're doing top fives. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll fuck so with it. we're gonna do top five worldwide. We're gonna do top five local. I need your top five rappers. I don't care. And they can be R and B, you know what I'm saying? And you can also, you know, we're gonna shout out. We need to get some comedians in there too. We can throw comedians in there too. Okay. Give me top five. You know what I'm saying? Top five entertainers. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're gonna do. Top five local. Top five in the industry. Let's start locally first. Locally, top five. Uh, shit. Tuck for me. Okay. You know, Tuck's my boy, but overall, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I've always fucked with his music. You know, right. Regardless. So I would say Tuck is one of them. Uh, three, definitely. Three. Um,. DOC. DOC. I would have to throw Pimps up there. Shout out Pimps though. Because he did he did, you know, give us a good look, you know, with that with that music like that in the beginning. You he know did. what I mean? So he did, I would have to throw that up there because, you know, I was bumping him quite a bit in my younger yeah, days. Yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I was on that Pimps with yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would say shh. Maybe DeRoe. You know, DeRoe. a lot of people don't give him enough credit. You know what I mean? And I would say he was, I mean, shit, he, 106 in part, 
the what was he uh, BT war BET. you know what I mean hey, like hey nigga, doc, a nigga brought the deal on, the, on the remix you, you know what I mean like I mean he did some big things yeah. man yeah, you know he did. he did some big things so I, I would probably say them so he was even with the face for the Cowboys at one time yeah 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 he sure was yeah, yeah. he actually did a song for them and yeah. everything too mm-hmm. yeah 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 shout out to Ro you yeah, know what I'm saying sure. all right if top five worldwide Dallas putting on, you know what I'm saying? He got a good top five. Pimps to everybody in that bitch, okay? And you say worldwide, I would say, uh, and this any entertainment, right? In any entertainment. I would say Denzel Washington. Right, for mm. sure. I mean, that's a bad yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. When it comes down to acting. Right, Cause uh-huh. I'm into the movies and shit like that. You know, I did a little bit of acting myself, so definitely would say Denzel Washington. King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man on fire. Yeah, man on fire. Oh yeah, bro. Uh huh. Man, yeah. that was a yeah. cold ass yeah. fucking movie. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. That was a cold. What, what, what was movie. Antoine Fisher? That one too. Shit. Uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> Was the other one where uh, he had he's trying to save his son John for the heart? Yeah, John, John Q. Q. John Q. Bro, oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah. Oh that, yeah, John that, Q. I was like, I probably Shit. do the same fucking yeah. thing, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I was to just crash out, you know, for my son like that too. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, but yeah, Denzel Washington for sure. Um, Dre, right? Producer, Dr. Dre, Doctor Dre. Dr. Dre. Okay. You know what I mean? Overall, like. I mean, his just production, yeah, his production and everything. Yeah. yeah, that's just fucking ridiculous. And then just yeah. hearing the stories from different artists and them working with him and yeah. shit like that, just like the process. And I was just like, oh shit, he really serious about his shit. Like, nah. he's gonna make you go in there and spit it 30 fucking times until it sounds right. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, Dr. Dre for sure. And, um, and what he did with Easy, shit, he made yeah. him, made him put in every little line just and to made get, it work. Made it and work. And make it sound good. Like At cruising that, down him. You know what I'm saying? My six. Fold. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. And that shit came out a hit. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so Denzel, Dre, um I would also probably go down Kid Frost. Kid Frost? You yeah. know what I mean? Because overall, you know, he was signed to Easy. Yeah. And I he mean, was he, one of the first. He was. He was the first. He, him, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Him and Merciless out of that city, yeah, out there yeah. in the Bay Area, they were the first to ever do it. Yeah. And um, but yeah, I would say him. And he got stories too. For he that. does. Boy, that boy he got does. some stories. He and does. that niggas be cleaning the motherfucker. You see the motherfucker be in this suit with the, man yeah. say the cholo man with that motherfucker. Yeah. I, boy, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I would say him. Um, shit. Else, um, I would say Wayne. Wayne, <sighs> little Wayne. You know what I mean? Like seeing him from 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 little, starting off with the Hot Boys, to all the way to how he just you know elevated and started Young Money, and you know bringing Drake and the uh, Nicki Minaj and. All them, you know what I mean? Like shit. You that know? nigga metamorphed. That nigga, which which is like the power morphing. That nigga morphing times on the nigga. Yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Um, and then uh, Mac Main. I met him at South by Southwest. Actually, he was down to earth, bro. You know what I mean, Mac Main. Nah, he is. We we fuck with Mac Main too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> South by Southwest. I actually, uh, yeah. I had I had, I had uh, met him. Um, at, at a show, at, actually, High Rollers were performing. Uh-huh. So I was there supporting them. Mac Main was there, so I was able to chop it up with yeah. him. You know, I was chopping it up with him for a while, shit like that. You know yeah. what I mean? And he gonna yeah. stand there. He gonna chop it up with yeah, you. He yeah, in the conversation yeah, yeah, the exactly. whole night. Yeah. He even said, he said, yeah. hey, you want to take a picture? That, 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 I, that, I, I wasn't yeah, even. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't even. I didn't even. You know, I was just chopping it up, and then he was like, hey, you want to take a picture? And I was like, hey, yeah, oh, shit, fuck it, yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, he, <laughs> exactly how he yeah, is. Exactly, yeah. you know, that's how he was in Atlanta. And shit, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. He was cool, bro. He was real down to earth. So yeah, yeah for shout sure. out back, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah. Oh, but uh, then I got Wayne. So okay, so I got Wayne. So I got one more, right? Um, shit, Eddie Murphy, bro. Eddie Murphy. 
on comedy shit, right? Yes, yeah, because stand up. because I remember watching Delirious and um, Eddie Murphy Raw. Eddie Murphy Raw. And Eddie Murphy Raw though was the shit, bro. It like was. I just remember going and reciting some of this shit. You know what I mean? As yeah. a little kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just watching that and then going to my friends and just telling them them jokes and shit yeah. that I, you know what I mean? Cause my mom would let me watch shit like that. My friends, some yeah. of my friends, like their parents were strict, so they couldn't yeah. but my mom she didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Right. Let me, like, man, yeah, man, play that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, shit. Nah, for but real. But Eddie Murphy, I would say, cause overall, like if you really look at he accomplished a lot himself, bro. Uh comedy, film, music. Motherfucker had music at Michael one time, Jackson. bro. He had a song with Michael That's Jackson. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know what and what people, saying? and I think some people forget about that shit. Yeah. But, and his shit was on the charts. Yes, on the charts. You yes. know what I mean? Like, yes. what comedian do you know? Fucking movies, comedian, and music. Ain't, ain't, ain't too many. Uh, ain't too many. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Though, what, like, What's like Cat Williams? Yeah, but, but not but, like on. But, but, not, but like, not like yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Cat Williams with dip Dipset. You remember he was fucking with yeah, Dipset? Yeah, you know was, what I'm saying? Was, so yeah, you know. Yeah. So, but I know what you're saying though, because Eddie Murphy up, you know, Eddie Murphy up there, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, when he did life, that nigga said, you's a nasty motherfucker, right? That nigga say, nigga, he said, if you go to sleep, I'm gonna put the sheets on you. He said, if I do, and if I do, I'll put the sheets on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I say, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I say, man. He said, oh, your boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, man, I appreciate you coming through, man. I'm going to get a flow, man. The flow is yours. I'm going to let you get a shot sound, let everybody know where they can reach you at. You know what I'm saying? And the, anything you want to say is yours right now. So, sure, yeah, just want to shout out to all the homeboys out there. You know what I mean? Hold your heads. You know, free you till I see you. You know what I'm saying? Welcome home to my homeboy, Looney, from doing 31 years in the penitentiary. Oof. You know what I mean? Welcome, so welcome back home. He just came home last week. So shout out to him. Free his brother Puppet locked up right now. You know what I mean? So shout out to him. Uh, shout out to my boy Sonic locked up. Uh, free Sonic. Free Fly Muscle. Free my cousin Marky. Free my cousin Bobby. You know what I mean? Hold your heads out there. Shout out to all the Triple D people out there. You know what I'm saying? Triple D gear. You know what I mean? Shout out to Dino V, Turo. Uh, shout out to George Lopez, Big Tuck. Everybody at T-Town. Much love. Everybody from the Cliff. The whole set. Um, you know what I mean? Shout out, much love. Um, but yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, so. you did that right because if you just wouldn't have went on with all just names, they was like, nigga, you forgot me, nigga. How you, <laughs> nigga, nigga, how you forget little shitty man? I mean, how you gonna forget me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, how, nigga, how you gonna forget me? How you gonna get Dave, man? You forgot Dave too, yeah, nigga. Like, yeah. what? nah, you did that, man. But say, oh, I want to, before I get out of here too, uh, you know, uh my comedians though, I, I like I like Fluffy. Yeah, Fluffy. Fluffy, funny, then the motherfucker. That and, nigga and say, he, and he's accomplished a lot too, bro. Yes, from and he came a long motherfucker. Oh, a long hey. motherfucking way. That dude, stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and to say, bro, I, I went to his show. I had to uh -huh. take my sons because I remember watching Fluffy from back then, and yeah, you know, I needed to add him on the list. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> Fluffy for sure. But I took my sons to go watch him at the American Airlines, bro. Okay. And this motherfucker sold that bitch out. I to believe. the top, Ooh. to the nosebleeds, bro, by himself uh -huh. with one opener that was like a local op person. It wasn't like somebody who was like super big. And the whole show was just him, Fluffy, all the way to the top, bro. Shout out, Fluffy. The American Airlines Center, bro. Man, that dude funny, fool. That dude was special when he get on them Indians. He's like, dip, dip, dip. <laughs> you think that's to be? He said that you could tell an Indian how they drive. He's, what did he say? He said that the Indian drive like this. And he said, you know, it's a Mexican when he drive like this. Yeah. He said, you know, it's a nigga when he drive like this. <laughs> Yeah, he, he wild, bro. He, <laughs> and my nigga Flip, man, say, hey, man, shout out to everybody out there making moves. Shout out to the whole Triple D, man. Shout out to all the pioneers. Shout out to all the legends, sure, man. Sure. Shout out Ray T, man, because he on that motherfucking list, and he's coming, and he's still doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the ones who don't give up. Those are the ones who innovate. Those are the ones who inspire. Those are the ones who motivate. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones who are always going to participate. And those are the ones that's going to congratulate and don't hate. You know what I'm saying? You understand me? Goddamn me. So make sure y'all tune in. You know I'm saying hit that link once again and we about this biatch yes, <laughs>
Conrad. Yeah.